Small format die, die cutting machines take 57. Well, not quite, but it feels like it. Okay, first of all, get your white balance right. Don't use things with lines that interfere with the prep with the um, camera and make sure that your camera is actually on and running. Okay, today we're looking at two new machines or relatively new ones, a small one and a large one. Starting with the small one, this was from the works. There's a price of £30 on it. I actually paid 20 And if you keep your eye open and are a member of the Works Rewards Club, there are some good offers on, so you don't necessarily have to pay £30 for it. OK, what do you get? You get the machine. And you get two cutting plates. And that's it. So, what about its workings? Put the machine down and fold out the flaps and you get a nice steady little machine with a good handle to hold as you're running through. Cutting. Starting with a fairly simple die, putting the die on the paper. I decided to use one mat just for cutting and I move the die about on that mat on both sides turning it over and turning it round to even out the wear. I try and keep this one as a nice clean plate. Running it through the machine. Well, it didn't make a click. It did mark the plate. But the result is fine. Using a more intricate die this one's a bit of a challenge. I'm going to tape my die to the card. You'll see why. OK, so running it through in normal mode. Bit of a click but it hasn't cut cleanly through the die. So I'm going to use cut up poly wallet. I absolutely hate poly wallets apart from this use. I think they're horrible slimy with papers in. Ugh. But putting it in the poly wallet and running it through the machine, it'll take a bit more force this time, but it still feels fine. It made a very healthy click and it's cut it out fine. So taking it off and pushing it out it not only has it cut it's made um, a couple of interesting little bits in the flower but in the leaf it's embossed it so I don't know if you can see there the rim of the leaf is actually shown in relief there these will take a bit of pricking out but it's absolutely fine yep I did try embossing with an embossing folder and it wouldn't go through with two plates an embossing mat would not go through with two plates and a die and I'm not forcing things through these machines. I did try with an embossing folder, one plate and a fairly thick embossing mat. And I don't know if you can see the results. Um, let's say not impressed. OK, so it's a nice little machine. It's sturdy. It's compact. It feels solid to use, but limited as regards embossing. The next new machine is a biggie. It's called So Crafty and we bought it last year from Aldi. Now similar sheet machines are made by Kaisercraft in Australia and are also available from Hobbycraft and from the range. 
I suspect that the contents that you get with the pack are different. Here you can see what you got, two embossing holders, a pack of card. You also get a selection of dies and the little Allen key for putting the handle into place. The plates that you get with it are a C plate and a base plate and then you get two B plates. One, as you can see, has been used a little bit in take one. And again, like the other machine, I'll keep one plate for cutting onto and one plate for to keep it nice and clean. And I'll move about the cutting plate from side to side and over so that I even out the wear. OK, so the sandwich for this, starting with the base plate and then the cutting plate. And I'll start by turning it over, then die and card. Then the top plate and run it through the machine. It didn't click, but it's cut out very nicely. And there we have the simple die. On a more complicated die, we'll use this one again. Let's just try it as is. So, using a different bit of the plate. And I think I'll tape it now. Because I have a, sus a suspicion it might not cut. It might do. We shall see. And then the C plate. Running it through. And yeah, it hasn't cut. So with the magic um, poly wallet, running it through again. I also tried that with laminating folders. That worked as well, but of course they're a lot more expensive. This time you can see the bits in the poly wallet. It's cut it out fine. It looks as though it's embossed it as well. Okay, good. Giving it a flick. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, it's done the embossing. It's worked fine. Now, this one you can use with an embossing folder. I'll just use a bit of card to demonstrate. So the sandwich is base plate, B plate, embossing folder, and like rectangular and square things, if possible I put them at an angle so that you don't get the solid line going through the machine first. Running it through. Now, with respect to certain CDs that you get, now that's what I call embossing. Good. OK, so nice sturdy machine. Um, very much similar in its manner to the Cuttlebug. We've had a Cuttlebug for about three or four years and that does need a fair bit of encouragement. It didn't come with a C plate um, and in fact the plates are interchangeable with those of the Cuttlebug. So yeah that's quite nice and if you can get it for under £50 I'd say go for it if you haven't got a die in a cutting machine. The size is much handier. You can do full-size embossing. Oh, well, let's try one of the embossing um, folders that came with it. So the sandwich is two B plates, card, embossing folder. I don't do hearts, but let's see what happens. Again, 
putting it at a slight angle, running it through. A sort of nice crunchy sound of card. And well, that's certainly embossed. Both sides look pretty impressive. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, I like that. It doesn't cuddle box more compact, but it's a good little machine. And now for a recap on some of the other machines that I've had. The first small one I got was, was the Baby Blue. As you can see, the cutting plate's much scarred. Let's go straight for the fancy die. Let's see how it cuts. This one will do embossing folders and it comes with an A and two B plates. With the two B plates and the embossing mat, it will emboss dies. But let's just try straightforward on that die that's been a bit of a pain. Yeah, well, it's not even cut as much as some of the others have. With the Magic Poly Wallet, putting it through again. Yeah, that's done. It looks as though it's embossed possibly not quite as much as some of the other machines. And you can see there that um, where I keep my washi tape. Yeah, they'll all come out with a bit of a little bit of encouragement. That's fine. So still going strong after lots of use. Yeah, definitely the best buy. OK, what about the others? Well, the prism. Now, the trouble with the prism is that whereas it'll emboss dies, it does not like um, embossing folders at all. I just can't get them to work with it. So, with our fancy die again, taping it down, trying it with just the plates, and again, this has had a fair bit of use now. This is a replacement for the one that crumbled under me. So I'm being careful not to put too much force in whatever I do. The thing about this one is it's very low geared. You've got a lot of turning to do before things go through. And again, not cut through. Poly Magic Poly Wallet. Putting it through again. Oops, going crooked. Yeah, a bit more effort going through this time. And yeah, cut out. And it looks as though it's embossed it. So great. So maybe if you want to emboss a die, you don't need to have an embossing mat. All you need is a bit of cut-up cut, cut up poly wallet. Interesting one to try. Um, yeah, all the bits are coming out all over the place. Fine. OK, so as long as you don't put too much strain on it, it's certainly compact. It does make a squeak at the moment, but it, it's, it's fine. The pad, I find, doesn't stick very well, so half the time I don't bother with using it because after a couple of goes, it stops working. I can understand why Phil Martin likes a clean work surface. This is getting a bit messy over here, but the middle bit's clean. Right, the next one was the bait, was the diamond press. And again, a new version of this has come out with a different sticking mechanism. It's sticking now, but it's not brilliant at sticking otherwise. Again, with this, oh, I need to clean my die. Now, a good way of cleaning dies is this and it's good for releasing dies as well. It's from Sizzix and it comes as brush 
and a mat and just rub the outside and lo and behold the dye is nearly clean not quite but it does it's a lot quicker than poking out the holes individually even although there might be one or two that still need a bit of nudge at the end there we are okay so diamond press thin bit of card folder and these folders this is about my third or fourth you do need to but keep buying them and you do need to turn them different ways so that you again even out the wear but putting this in this was also quite good for cutting out felt because because of the nature of the folders and because of the nature of felt if you use an ordinary machine the it makes a mess of the cutting plates and you need to wash them and give them a scrub but this one running it through let's see what's happened yeah let's cut it out I reckon yeah it hasn't embossed it but it has cut all the holes so diamond press it's cheap you do need to buy replacement folders so you actually have more running expenses um, but it's tidy it's efficient the only trouble is also the cutting width that's the that's the diamond press that's the prism and that's tattered lace so you can see the difference there next machine The last machine was the make and take, also from the range. Coming with two plates, a die and um, an embossing folder. You can see here though that the thinner plate which I cut onto has definitely warped. With the same die, uh oh, cleaning it out again. Oh, let's just try it with the same die again let's put a bit of tape on because I suspect that we're going to need to cut it twice and I'm trying to find an unbit putting it on one of the plates running it through It looks as though it might have cut first time. Let's give it a look, even despite the scarred plate. Well, yes, just about actually. Okay. It will emboss. Um, it's yeah, it's sturdy. I think it's second best to the to the tattered lace baby blue, but yeah, it's okay. There we are. It's coming. It hasn't embossed that one, but then I didn't use the um, wonderful magic poly wallet. Okay. So that's them all. I've been a bit more careful about um, how I use the machines. The diamond press has got a funny noise occasionally, so I'm just wondering how long that will last. But they're okay. You pay your money, you take your choice. But whatever you do, enjoy. Oh, and if anybody wants to send me a, an electronic one to have a go at, I'd even return it, um, then please do so. Bye. This is how I store my small magnetic dies. 
I use a sheet of photographic photo magnetic paper um, from Pound World. I cut it into four. I use two sheets for each set of dies with the black sides inside because they're not very magnetic. I then label the outside with what they are and put them all together in a really use, small, really useful box. It weighs a ton, but it's a good way of storing the dies and other bits and pieces that I use with die cutting. If you don't use a box to store your dies in, you can also use them using a single sheet of paper and put them in a CD holder. That way you can flip through them and just take out a sheet with the die on when you need it. Think about it, saves money.